Hi everyone, I'm Ashley Sorokis from AshleySorokis.com, registered holistic nutritionist and holistic biz coach, and today I'm showing you step-by-step -step how to make a digital signature. I like to use this on my website, on my join my newsletter page and sales pages, but I also include my signature on the end of every email I send out to my newsletter list. You can totally make your own in less than five minutes, so let's get started. Just in case you're wondering who I am, I'm the creator of Brand Build Blog, which is a branding and blogging course for holistic biz owners who are tech shabby. So I teach you with video tutorials just like this one, how to brand your business, design and build your own website, and how to start blogging to attract your ideal clients and increase your profits. You can find out more info about this course at www.brandbuildblog.com. So let's jump right in with creating your own digital signature. What you need to do first is you need to just literally take a Sharpie. I just use, um, actually, I think I have like paper mate felt tip pens or something. And all that you do is you write down your signature as you want it to show, you know, handwritten on your website. So I write XO Ashley. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing your full signature because people, you know, they're kind of mean and they could go and actually copy it from your website and use it for digital documents. So I wouldn't use your full, like, actual legal signature but I would just use you know how you would write just your first name or whatever it might be that you would normally write so we're gonna go in and what I've done is I have taken a picture on my actual phone so I just have an iPhone I do have an iPhone SE but um, anything higher than an iPhone 5 or even an Android should take a really good quality picture so what I want you to do is I want you we're going to share this and we're going to email it to ourselves. So I'm just gonna email it to my uh, business and we're going to send this. And we are going to send this as the actual size. So where it says actual size, like however big you can get the message, go ahead and size it that way. Okay, so now we are done on our phones. And what we're going to do first is we are going to open this JPEG as it sends us. As, um, you know, we go into our email, we download it to our computer as a JPEG. Download it and save it wherever on your computer that I that you want to. So mine is on my desk, uh, my downloads here. So I can actually just go in here and I can open it up, and you can see it right here as a digital signature .png. So now what we want to do is we want to bring this up. In Canva so I've logged into canva.com now um, you can do this with a free or a paid account you don't need the paid version to be able to do what we're going to do today so what you're going to do is you're going to create a new design and I want you to use custom dimensions let's say we're going to do 3,000 pixels by 3,000 pixels we're going to make it pretty big and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to save it so we're going to give it a name so we can call it digital signature and what we're going to do is go into uploads and you can see that I've already uploaded it but I'm going to show you how to upload it again so we're going to upload it actually into Canva we're going to click on this big green upload your own images we're going to go into the downloads folder where we saw this and we are just going to let me see what the latest one is and we're just going to upload our digital signature so you're going to see this little kind of progress bar is going to go up there so we're going to drag this over into our canvas over here and we're just going to make it bigger if we just drag on this square image it's going to resize it and let's put it right kind of in the middle here now I like making this a fairly high resolution meaning it's a bigger picture um, just to make sure that if we are going to have it really big on our website it's not going to look um, pixelated meaning as you uh, kind of zone in on it or you zoom in on it, it's going to start looking a little bit grainy. If we have a bigger picture and then we resize it to smaller, we're not going to get that. Whereas if we start with a smaller picture and make it bigger on our website or somewhere else, it's going to look grainy. 
So what we're going to do here is we're now going to go in and we're going to filter this picture. So we want this to be looking like a white background. This is showing, I just took this literally on my desk a few minutes ago, middle of the day, no special lighting. So you can see that it's a little bit kind of gray. And you can take this with whatever color ink that you want. Now I do recommend a, a darker color ink. Lighter is not going to show up as well, but feel free if you have a specific color that you have your brands in, if it's like a purple or a pink or a blue or a green, um, go ahead and take it in that. Now black is one of my brand colors, so I just like it in black, but this is my handwriting. So we're going to go into filter, and there are advanced options here, but we're not really going to need those. So what we're just going to do is we're just going to play with these brightness and contrast bars. So you can see as soon as we bring that up, we get this bright white, so it matches the white of the canvas around here. So that's great, but now it's kind of grayed out the writing. So now we're just going to bring this up so that it looks black. And you can play around with this, you can move this down, you just don't want it to go where it's really a little bit gray, you want to make sure that it's the pure white matching that background. And there, there is our digitized signature. Now, if you're using something like Photoshop, you can actually cut out the background and make it a true transparent where you can put it over whatever color you want, whatever background color. This way, doing it in Canva, we're only going to be able to use this on an actual white background, but for the most, uh, you know, most times we're just using a white background anyway, so this is a really nice workaround without having to get too advanced in Photoshop. So what we're going to do is we are going to save this, and now we're going to download it, and you can either download it as a JPEG or a PNG. Um, if it had a transparent background, which this one doesn't has a white background, we would be uh, saving it as a PNG, but because it's just for a website, um, and even in our email programs, we can save it as a JPEG. So let's go ahead and save that. And what it's going to do is it's going to just download generally to your downloads folder, and then you can move it to wherever you else you want it saved from there. But it's going to save it as the name that you've given the file, which this is called digital signature. Perfect. So that is exactly what it's going to look like. Now, when you want to use this on your website, how do you go about using it? So let's, I'm going to go ahead and show you this here. So this is the back end of my website. I use a hosting program called Squarespace. It's super easy to use. And you'll see that at the bottom here, I have, now this is a different version of my signature one that I didn't make, you know, literally right this second. But we can go in here and we can actually edit this. I'm going to show you how to upload our picture. So I'm just going to delete this one here. This is live on my website right now. So we're going to delete that. Now I'm just going to click on this little teardrop. I'm going to go to image and I'm going to add where it saved it to my downloads. So today I'm going to put that I don't want a caption and I don't need any sort of click through URL. So you can see that that is pretty huge. I'm not going to lie. So all that we have to do to make it smaller is we just need to add in a spacer and I'm going to move it to the right hand side of this picture here. And once we move this down here, it's just going to make that picture a little bit smaller. And there, that is how we have it in our website. Now I'm going to show you how to do it in the email program that I have. I use a program called ConvertKit. I love it. I used to use Aweber. Um, so we're going to go into a broadcast. And let's say we do a new broadcast here. So we're going to send it. I mean, I'm not actually going to send this. So let's just say we're sending it to all subscribers. I have all different lists. Um, so let's go next step. And so we're going to put the email subject. We're going to write, hey there, here's my digital signature. And then we're just going to insert it using this insert image. So this is going to be very similar to how you're going to use it in Aweber or MailChimp or any other email programs. You're just going to go in and we're going to choose the file, which here is our digital signature. You can resize that if you have the paid, oh, there it goes. If you have the paid version of um, Canva, you can resize it if you want to kind of take out this white space on the top or bottom. But we can go in and we can resize this and make it as big or as small as we want to in our email program. And when we send it out, that is what it's going to look like. So this lesson's action is to make your own digital signature for your website. Some great places to put it is on the bottom of your about page or on a sales page. Um, if you're already using email marketing software like MailChimp or ConvertKit, go ahead and put your signature on the bottom of your next email. I will see you next time.